Suppose you have 100 pound, okay? Now there's a gambling machine. You have 15% chance you will gain 80% of what you are currently holding. So suppose you have Y dollar. If you win, then now you have Y times 1 plus 0 0.8. That means 80%. That means you, your dollar now is Y times 1.8, okay? And 50% chance you will lose half of your current money. So suppose you have Y dollar. Now you have half of the Y dollar. So you have to gamble 100 times non-stop. You cannot exit in the middle. The question is, go or not go? So now I'm going to show you if we use a computer to do some simulation, what will happen, okay? So this is called MATLAB, okay? Uh, you don't need to know how to code it, but I just show you. So first I run some code, okay? So now suppose I run a X, I generate X that is N random variable of 0 and 1. So I have an X, this is my X. So this X is a basically a bunch of 1 and 0, okay? There are 100 of them. And let me find out how many of them are 0. So there are 49 number of them are 0. And then 51 of them are 1. So it's very, very close to 50%, okay? By randomness, it's possible. You don't get exactly 50, 0, and 51, right? So now I define win and loss. So win is 1.8, loss is 0 0.5. Now I have my start tank money, 100. Now I'm going to run a for loop. So for i equal to 1 to n, n is 100 times. If I win, then I multiply my y by the win rate, that is 1.8. And if I lose, then I multiply y with the loss rate, that is divide by half. So let me just run all this, okay. So now I have finished 100 steps. So let's plot to see what happens. So now I just plot it. So what is this graph? In the very beginning, at step zero, we have 100 pound. X axis is the step. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Y axis is how much money you hold at step K. From this particular figure, you can see in step one, I lost. So 100 pound become 50. In step two, I lost again. So 50 pound become 25. In step three, I lost again, 12. Step four, I lost again. So six point something. And then the next step, I win. So go up. And then I win, I go up, and then go down, go down, go up, go up, go up, and then so on. Until in the end, the x at 100, y is 6.56, 10 to the power negative 5. So that means what? That means basically you lost all your money. Let's see another trial. So this is another trial. So this time, well, if you look at this curve, the black curve is the starting money, that is 100 pound. So in this case, first time, you win, so you go to $180. And then the second time, you also win, so you go to 300 something. And then you lose, and then win, win, lose, win, lose, win, and then so on. At iteration 11, your money go to 1377 Oh, that's nice. But after that, you keep losing. And then at iteration 15, your money is 86 It's below your starting money. And then in the end, you keep losing until at step 100, you lose all your money. Let's try again for the third person. Okay, this is the third person. This is the same as the first person. Again, after 100 steps, you lose all your money. So now we will repeat the same experiment. But this time we will repeat the same experiment by assuming there are 1,000 person doing the same thing. And let's see what happens. So this figure shows you these 1,000 person at the end, how much money they got. The black line here is the starting grant, that is 100 pounds. So it, this y-axis is log scale. And if you look at this factor, you can see most of the dots, which represent at the end how much money they get, is below this line. So how much money they get? Let's see. Okay, so these are all the number of money they get. If you look at it, you can see that most of them are below 100. So for example, this guy in the end just got $1. This guy is less than one dollar, less than one dollar, less than one dollar. Wow, almost zero, almost zero. Slightly below one hundred dollar. Okay, less than one dollar, less than one dollar. Wow, this one gained four thousand. Bankrupt. Okay, bankrupt, bankrupt. Okay, bankrupt, 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 bankrupt. Wow, this one win a lot. Bankrupt, bankrupt, bankrupt. So you can see that most of the people lose. We may try to find how many people lose their money. So let me try to find a number. It shows you 800 people have their money lower than their starting money. That means what? There are 1,000 people. 80% of them in the end lose money. That's why you shouldn't play this game.